social media today and the public have become integral in identifying you know, bad behaviors or helping to identify people that are doing crimes or being racist online or being Karens or whatever. But Internet sleuths, this this article, it says, why top Internet sleuths say they won't help find the United Healthcare CEO on a library? They're like, "Uh uh-uh, we are not stepping in at this time. Let's check out this article. High profile violent crime typically sets social media abuzz with tips and theories from amateur internet sleuths hunting for the alleged perpetrator. But after United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson was gunned down in New York City this week without a primary suspect being identified, a rare occurrence happened in the thriving true crime world. Silence online from highly followed armchair detective detectives. I have yet to see a single video that's pounding the drum of we have to find him. And that's unique, said Michael McWhorter, better known as Tizzy, um, Tizzy ENT on TikTok, where he posts true crime and viral news content for his 6.7 million followers. And he does. He's like, help us find this person. And he's like, "Uh, uh-uh, we're not doing it. And in other situations of some kind of blatant violence, I would absolutely be seeing that. A masked gunman who is still on the lam fatally shot the 50-year-old executive in front of a busy New York City hotel Wednesday, police said. A senior New York City law enforcement official briefed on the investigation said Thursday that the shell casings found at the scene had the words deny, defend, and depose written on them. But police clarified Friday that it was delay, not defend. Thompson's um, targeted unaliving has sparked online praise from some people angry over the state of the United States health care. Tens of thousands of people have expressed support on social media for the uh, taking out of or sympathize with with I'm sorry, with it, where some even appear to celebrate it. The surge of social media posts praising and glorifying the taking out of United Healthcare CEO is deeply concerning. Alex Goldenberg, a senior advisor at the Network Contagion Research Institute at Rutgers University, previously told NBC News. Thompson was CEO of Health United Healthcare, not of United Health Group, its parent company. In a statement, Thompson's family said he was an incredibly loving father to two sons who and will be greatly missed. We are shattered to hear about the senseless killing of our beloved Brian, the statement said. Brian was an incredibly loving, generous, talented man who truly lived life to the fullest and touched so many lives. Still, some of the most popular Internet sleuth have set out the investigation. We're pretty apathetic towards that. Savannah Sparks, who has 1.3 million followers on her TikTok account, where she tracks down and reveals the identities of people who do racist or seemingly criminal acts in viral videos, said about helping to identify the shooter. She added that rather than sleuthing, her community has concepts of thoughts and prayers. It's, it's, you know, claim denied on my prayers referring to rote and unserious condolences. Although Sparks 34 has been tapped by law enforcement in the past to help train officers on how to find suspects online, according to emails seen by NBC News, she said this time she isn't interested in helping police. Sparks, who also works in healthcare as a lactation consultant and holds a doctorate of pharmacy, didn't mince words when asked if her community was working to find the suspect in Thompson's murder. Absolutely the F not, she said. Another popular TikTok sleuth, that Danish that Danish guy who has 2 million followers on the platform, made a video that was critical of the healthcare industry, saying that he wouldn't try to identify the unaliver. I don't have I don't have to encourage violence. I don't have to condone violence by any means, but I also don't have to help. That attitude among some content creators comes amid amplified attention on frustrations with medical care in the United States in the wake of the unaliving. A Gallup poll released Friday found that Americans believe healthcare quality is at a 24 year low. Those polls said healthcare coverage is even worse with 54% saying it's fair or poor. Online sleuths have helped the FBI identify hundreds of Capitol rioters and catch previously arrested January 6th defendants committing crimes that the Bureau's own review had missed. In one case, even finding evidence of a proud boy assaulting an officer in the middle of his seditious conspiracy trial. And when Gabby Petito, 22, 
went missing as she documented her cross-country travels on social media with her fiance, online sleuths jumped into action. It was later determined that Petito was taken out by her fiance, Brian Laudry, who took himself out. He self-deleted. At least one person who did try to help find Thompson's unaliver was criticized on X, formerly known as Twitter, for doing so. In a viral post, Riley Walsh, a software engineer, said he was fairly confident about where the shooter fled on a bike after scouring data from City Bikes Bike Share Program. He said he shared the information with the police. But a source close to Lyft, which operates City Bike, later said the NYPD told the company directly that the incident did not involve the Bike Share Program. Walsh declined to comment Friday since his post, some users. Um, some ex-users have called him a snitch. McWhorter or Tizzy, um, TikTok's Tizzy Inc. said the backlash towards those who did try to help might cause others to not want to step in. If you're seeing it in such a groundswell, I have to imagine that factors into some people's decision. But mostly, McWhorter said, there's this weird thing, this vibe of like, I don't see a bunch of people just feeling an urgency. McWhorter posted his first video about the incident Friday evening. The roughly two minute video was about how much people don't care. Sukrit, Sukrit Venkatagri, an assistant professor of computer science at Swarthmore College, said that many people feel a lack of connection with the wealthy CEO. They don't really empathize with who the victim is in this scenario. Vin Katagri, who has studied the harms of misinformation and disinformation, as well as crowdsourcing investigation, said anecdotally, he has seen less talk of finding Thompson unaliver on spaces like the subreddit um, Bureau of Investigations and online sleuthing page on Reddit that claims it is using the power of the Internet to solve real world problems. I'm going to have to look up that subreddit. People are less motivated from an altruistic perspective to help this victim in this specific case. Beyond lack of online sleuthing, which can sometimes muddy law enforcement's investigations, there has been a flurry of information released by the New York City Police Department. Police released two images of a person of interest, including one in which he's smiling while using a fake ID to check out of a hostel on New York City's Upper West Side, as well as several surveillance videos including one in which the suspect shoots Thompson. Investigators believe the shooter may have traveled to New York City from Atlanta last month by bus. Three senior law enforcement officials familiar with the case told NBC News. Investigators have not identified a suspect, although the investigation is ongoing. A senior law uh, enforcement official briefed on the matter said Friday. Police have found dozens of images from surveillance cameras of the suspect from tracking his timeline in Manhattan. The official said they have offered a reward of up to $10,000 for information leading to an arrest and conviction. A whole $10,000, which is laughable. They do not want to find this person. Join the conversation. Let me know what you think. You know why I don't care that the CEO of United Healthcare was also a husband and father? My mom died from complications due to diabetes. Diabetes requires a lot of supply, not just things like pumps, insulin, needles, test strips. It's things like batteries, alcohol wipes, band-aids, tape, gauze. Six months before my mom died, her health insurance let her know that all of the things that she had been prescribed and insured for for the last 10, 15 years of her life were no longer going to be covered. The insulin her life depended on, the pumps her life depended on, and the batteries that go in those pumps. The morning after my mom died, and I'm talking not even 24 hours after, 7 a.m. the morning after my mom died, a box full of all of my mom's supplies for the next four, six months, showed up on my front step. And inside the box, with all of her supplies, there was a letter that said, due to the change in your current situation, we have now fully insured and covered your supplies. The current change in situation was listed as death. Patient expiration. So yeah, it makes sense that all of the health insurance companies in the United States have now taken their CEOs off their websites because it's not a matter of if this happens next, it's when.
the NYPD, they're really interested in tracking the whereabouts and the, the movements of this shooter of this healthcare CEO. So it says New York City hostel at the center of United Healthcare CEO shooting investigation. A New York City hostel is now the focal point of the United Health Care CEO Brian Thompson murder investigation. That's where the NYPD obtained the photos of a person of interest who let his guard and his mask down as he talked to a woman who worked at the front desk. Police released new pictures of the person of interest on Saturday. A high-ranking source tells CBS News New York police interviewed the woman and she told the officers she asked to see his pretty smile. They were having a flirtatious moment at, and he pulls it down and gives a big smile. And that one informal moment between two human beings remains at this moment the most significant clue to date in the whole case. Former New York um, New York PD, I'm sorry, NYPD Deputy Commissioner for Intelligence and Counterterrorism, John Miller said. He's been traveling and walking around the streets of New York City, largely in a mask with his face covered. We had to go through lots of video evidence to get that one money shot of him with the mask down, said NYPD Commissioner Jessica Tisch. Sources say the man used a fake New Jersey ID with a phony name to check into a hostel at 891 Amsterdam Avenue on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Detectives sealed off the room where he was staying and questioned other guests. We are fully cooperating with the NYPD and, as this is an active investigation, cannot comment at this time, said a spokesperson for High New York um, Hostel. People come here like jet lagged, so they sleep during the day, so you can't really be loud in the room or talk to anybody. You're just kind of minding your own business when you're in the youth hostel, one hostel guest said. Police sources tell CBS News New York detectives have put together a series of over 200 images of the suspect, giving them a mosaic of his time arriving in New York, going to the scene of the homicide and his route in fleeing the city. Authorities identified video of the person of interest arriving in New York City on a Greyhound bus from Atlanta on November 24th, 10 days before the shooting, a person with knowledge of the investigation said. Officials are looking to trace where and when the bus ticket was purchased and under what name. The bus has made multiple stops between Atlanta and New York City, officials said, and it was unclear where the person of interest boarded. If this person has gone through all of this, I highly doubt that they've left that many breadcrumbs. But, you know, whatever. It's still the news and I'm still reporting this. While NYPD is leading the murder investigation, the case is multi-state and the FBI's New York field office is assisting in the investigation. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $50,000 for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Images of the person of interest have been distributed at at least 80 major police departments across the country. And this short of a period, we've made great strides in finding out exactly who the Who's possible um, for this shooting? And we're going to bring them to justice, Merrick Eric Adams said. Police sources tell CBS News, New York investigators believe the person of interest is no longer in New York City, may have gone to the Port Authority bus terminal at 178th Street and Broadway and boarded a bus bound for Atlanta. The Atlanta Police Department announced they were contacted by the NYPD and will be providing assistance as needed. Those are those buses are interstate buses. That's why we believe he may have left New York City. Then they found a backpack. Um, I highly doubt that this man really left a lot of clues in this backpack, but they found a backpack. Y'all let me know what you think of all of this. Join the conversation. Are you Internet sleuthing for these people? I am not. I'm just reporting the news. Join the conversation. Like, comment and share. Riding around the block with a Glock. Yo ass finna get shot. That's the silence. That's the grenade line.